Colossians 3 verse 13 to 14 bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity if there is anything 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 that you can describe as perfect there are very few things in this world that you can describe as perfect but the one thing that is perfect is God's love God's love is perfect it has no flaw there is nothing wrong there is nothing that can be improved there is nothing that can change but God's love is perfect so I don't know but every time when I see love mentioned in the Bible all I can think of is perfection all I can think of is wholeness fullness because the fullness of God's love oh my gosh the fullness of God's love is something so amazing it is something so beautiful it is something that makes everything perfect it's something that collides everything the law punishment sin forgiveness mercy Jesus salvation the cross everything God's love is there. So in this scripture, he's talking about how we need to learn to bear with one another. We need to learn how to forgive. We need to learn how to live together. It all comes down to love. When my friend or my brother or my sister offends me, what is going to drive me to forgive is love. When someone hurts me, what is going to drive me back to them is love. Love is such a powerful thing and God knows that. And it's something that we need to learn more about. It's something that we need to understand. Because when we truly understand how it is that we need to love, that love has no flaw. But this same love demands. This same love gives and takes. This same love requires for us to take some risks. It requires for us to overcome our fears. But what we need to always keep in our mind is that love is perfect. Love is perfect. And not just any kind of love, but the kind of love that comes from God, that love is perfect. The kind of love that God places in our hearts, that love is perfect. The kind of love that you begin to show when you receive your salvation, when you begin to share the heart of Jesus, that love is perfect. So it's something that we need to strive for each and every day. We need to strive to love better. We need to learn to receive love better. We need to study this love. We need to understand it. We need to really grasp the concept of God's love. It's something so amazing. It's something so spectacular. If there's anything that is magic, it is God's love. Because it truly is everything. For the scripture also says... Of all these, faith, hope, and love remain, but the greatest of these is love. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. It's such an amazing thing, and it's something that God really keeps on stressing on it, on us understanding, on us grasping, on us receiving God's love. For if there's anything that you can say to encourage someone, or when you don't know what to say, you don't know what exactly is happening, you don't know the situation, you don't know how to fix it. You always hear people saying, God loves you. Because you know if God loves you, everything will be okay. If God loves you, a solution is coming. If God loves you, something is going to move, something is going to change. We need to trust God, we need to trust in His love. I heard someone say the other week, we need not to rely on our love for God, but we need to rely on His love for us because His love is perfect. His love will never let you down. His love will never disappoint like ours could. So we need to trust in God and trust in His love for it truly is a perfect and amazing thing. I pray you guys are blessed by His love. I pray that you understand His love. I pray that you will grasp His love and things will begin to change in your life from this moment on in jesus mighty name thank you guys for listening and i pray that you will love and you will receive love i love you god you guys from the depth of my heart i truly love you and thank you guys for listening god bless you